Okay, time for pre-flight. Cessna 156001 Golf, pre-flight. Visually check your fuel quantity first. I did that. Order fuel if necessary. Do not place any items in the instrument panel. Reporting discrepancies. Cabin. Documents and squawks. Documents and squawks were in the glove compartment. Fuel shuttle valve is on. Fuel shuttle valve is on. Got it. Control lock removed. Ignition switch off, and the key has been removed right there. Electrical equipment is off. 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 Master switch is on. Fuel gauges, check quantity. A little more than half a tank on the left uh, wing. About three quarters of a tank on the right wing. Flaps extend. Flaps are extended. Exterior lights check as required. Need the beacon, landing lights. Yeah, just turn them all on. Dome light and nav light. And time to check them. So the exterior lights check is required. Be careful with the flaps. Your beacon lights on. Okay. You've got the lights on the side. This light's on. Not quite sure why these lights aren't on. This light's on. That's all we need for visual flight rules for the daytime. Pito heat. Check as required. We don't do the pito heat. Master switch off. Fuel sample cup obtained. Okay. Shut this guy off. Fuel sample cup obtained. Close the door. It says left tank sump drain, but we'll wait until we come back to the other side. Left side of the empanage check. Left side. No crinkles in the bottom. Nothing here in the bottom. The left side looks okay. Elevator looks okay. Rudder looks okay. Actually, I'm sorry. The horizontal leading edge looks okay. The vertical leading edge looks okay. So tail section. So left side of empanage check, tail section leading edges check, elevator check movement. Looks okay. Rudder check movement. Okay. Tail tie down remove. I'm going to wait until uh, my instructor comes. Trim tab is this guy right here. Nothing really left to check. Looks okay. Right side of empanage, check. Leading edge looks okay. Leading edge looks okay. I don't see any crinkles or anything. Nobody hit this. Nothing looks out of whack. Okay. By the way, the antennas are okay. ELT antenna, the VOR antennas, everything looks okay. Right wing, right fuel tank, check sample. Let's check this guy out. No water, that side's okay. Okie dokie. Landing gear and brake check. No fluid. Looks like it's leaking. Tire looks okay. 
nothing obvious. Flap, check traction rod. A little bit of play. Tracks look okay. The flaps, look, the flap looks okay. Uh, aileron, check movement and security. Feel a little stiff, but that's okay. Leading edge check. Leading edge looks okay. Don't see any problems. Wing tie down disconnect, that'll wait. Uh, fuel quantity I measure, filler cap is secure. Uh, it's this guy up here, I've already checked that. Okay. Cowling. Cowling. Stand still. Cowling. Main sump drain. Okay, let's check the fuel. Slow, slow, slow. No water. Looks good. Okay. Now we're supposed to check the oil. This is the uh, fuel sump. The fuel strainer drain, we don't use that. There's the oil. Plenty of oil, and it's leaking all over the place. Alright. Oil's fine. Nose wheel and strut check. No obvious problems. Everything looks okay. Propeller and spinner check. Don't like touching the propeller. Nothing obvious here. Um, carb air filter check. Looks clear. Inside cowl check that no birds have made their nests in here. Everything looks okay. Yeah, nice and nice. Inspect cowl for missing fasteners. Actually, last time this fastener was missing, it's been replaced. Everything looks okay. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, static port. Unobstructed, good. Left wing, fuel quantity measure, filler cap secure. And I know that, because I've already checked that. Okay. Pitot tube, check clear. Nice. Stall warning vent. Clear. Nice. Fuel vent line. Clear. Wing tie down disconnect. I'll wait till my instructor gets here. Leading edge check. May have to spray some glycol on this just to make sure. It takes two seconds. Don't want ice build up on the wing. Leading edge has been checked. Aileron check for movement and security. Looks fine. Technically you're supposed to check here on the inside. Uh, uh, this guy here. Everything looks okay though. Not a problem. Not a problem. Flap. Check tracks and rod. Little play, no problem. Looks nice. Landing gear and brake, check. Everything looks fine. Fuel tank, check sample.
no water, everything looks fine. Alrighty, so the pre flight looks like it's gone okay. Put that there. Let's take one last look at the uh, control panel here. Nice, very nice. Got your airspeed indicator, this guy, clock that we never use, altimeter, this guy, radio, RPMs, the hobs, suction, fuel tanks, the um, ammeter, oil pressure, oil temp, got your flaps, Bring your flaps, cabin air, cabin heat, got your fuel mixture, your throttle, your carb heat, your um, trim tab, your fuses, all this junk, vertical speed indicator, whatever the hell that is, heading situation indicator which should match the compass, 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 actually shoot, holy smokes, that's weird, this is 20... Three and a half, which means this guy's got to be fixed to match. Got my light so far off. Twenty-three and a half. This guy, parking brake we never use. The primer, headphone jacks, master switch, ignition key, all this nice junk. Rudder pedals. What this looks like, etc. 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 Take one final walk around the plane. Cessna 150 Kilo, or K, whatever you want to call it. Pre-flight's been done.